Okay, today I'm going to teach about uh, some basic law of in indice or indices. Okay, okay. For this indice, actually, few law very important. The first law is called what? It's called a power of m multiple a power of n you equal to a and the power when the multiple here the power is plus m plus n okay so for example 2 power of 7 multiple 2 power of 8 so we will get 2 power of 7 plus 8 so we can get 2 power of 15 okay so when there's multiple in the power word you have to plus okay okay same thing when divide let's say a power of m divide by a power of n you get a m minus n okay so when divide this one will be minus so let's say you you see this kind of example like 2 power of 8 divided by 2 power of 3 so you will get 2 power of 8 minus 3 you see the power you have to use minus when there is divide okay so therefore you will get so you will get 2 power of 2 power of 5 okay same thing happens to some other law okay for example this I put here first okay this is multiple and divide okay now we have a look on fraction means the power fraction let's say m power of let's say 3 over 2 okay what is the meaning by m power of 3 over 2 okay this one you have to remember on the top here the 3 here means power the bottom the 2 here will mean roof those we always use like square roof cube roof this is roof this is power like square cube so top will be power bottom will be roof when you see fraction in the power you have to know how to define it okay so this one actually we can write like this I say 3 is the power so m power of 3 and 2 is the roof so 2 will mean square roof or you can write the bottom first mean you write the square root first he will become square root m okay power of 3 so power 3 okay both also you, you will get the same value okay you can write the square root first or or the power first so i give one more example let's say a 7 over 3 okay top will be power bottom will be roof so actually this one you can write to right you can you can change to like like this you can change to a power of 7 and then q roof see the 3 here will mean q roof the 7 here will mean a power of 7 or you can write q root first a and then the whole thing power of 7 okay this is a yeah okay so same thing sometime in exam maybe you see this kind of question like square root 2x plus 1 so actually this one when you see square root 2x plus 1 actually this one you can change to 2x plus 1 power of 1 over 2 see 1 over 2 will equal to square root same thing when you see q roof of 4x minus 7 so you can change to 4x minus 7 and then the whole thing will be power of 1 over 3 
see because here power will, will be one nothing here means power is one ah. so you see the three bottom will mean q roof if here he didn't write anything means square so square is square roof is equal to one over two q roof is equal to one over three okay so unless okay maybe you see this example like q roof of four four x minus seven and then square the whole thing okay so you got square you got q roof remember two we write on the top because two is the power the three we write on the bottom because three is the roof therefore this one will equal to 4x minus 7 power of 2 over 3 okay this is a power okay okay and then what happened is when you see negative in your power okay this one I put here okay what happened if you see negative let's let's say a negative 7 okay remember here when you see negative negative will mean 1 over when you see negative directly he will means 1 over so a negative 7 will mean is 1 over a power of 7 okay if a negative 3 over 2 when you see negative, straight away means 1 over a power of 3 over 2. Okay, same thing if he gives you 1 over 3 square. When you see 1 over 3 square will equal to 1 over means negative. Correct or not? 1 over means negative. So you see the power for 3 will be 2. So it's 3 power negative 2 1 over mean negative so let's say you see 1 over 2x minus 1 square when you see 1 over means actually the power here will add a negative so we straight away know this is 2x minus 1 power of negative 2 because we see 1 over 1 over will mean negative okay so let's say you will, you will see something like 3x plus 1 okay and then power negative 3 so when you see negative means what negative will mean in power uh, negative in power will mean 1 over okay so we write continue 3x plus 1 power of 3 okay this is the meaning for negative okay and then what happens if power multiple by power okay for example okay this one i put here okay for example you get something like this okay a power of m and then this power will power again with n so this one will equal to a power m multiple n means m n so for example you you got 3 power of 3 and then the whole thing power again with 2 this one will equal to 3 multiple 2 not 3 power of 2 huh? if, if you write 3 power of 9 then you are wrong this one is 3 power of 6 okay let's say you 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 got uh, like a power of 2 over 3 okay and the whole thing power of 3 so this one will equal to a 2 over 3 multiple 3 in the power so we will get 3 and 3 we simplify so we will get a power of 2 okay means if you see the power you prank it and power again means actually the power you have to multiply okay means you have to multiply okay so for example for example let's say you see a uh, four power of uh, two over three and then the whole thing power of nine so actually three and nine you can simplify here you get one here you will get three 
So this one will equal to 2 multiple 3, you will get 4 power of 6. Okay, and then you press calculator, 4 power of 6. Okay, when you press calculator, you have to press 4 power. You will see, you will see this symbol, power is just beside the x square there. 4 power of 6. So you will get 4 power of 6, you will get 4096. Okay, this is the meaning for, this one is for multiple. Okay, I repeat, when you see negative, it means 1 over. Okay, so you, you will see 1 over 3 power of 2 is equal to 3 power of negative 2. Okay, so this one is, okay, when you see fraction, the top here will mean power, the bottom here will mean roof. Okay, and then for the most easy one, also is the most important one, when multiple in the power world will, will mean plus. When divide, in the power word will mean minus okay if you can understand this one okay let's have a look some example okay let's have a look on this example okay okay you see it's in an exam you will see this kind of question okay the first thing is you have to straight away relate actually eight and uh, the number eight and number four are related to two because in order to get the power the power I mean, you have to get the value for x you have to make sure both of them have the same base then only you can solve their power okay means actually eight for here I, I know eight actually is two power of three four actually is two power of two okay so let's try to solve this one here okay let's say this one 8 is 2 power of 3 so i just write 2 power of 3 okay bracket and then 2x minus 3 okay because later when i put bracket later the 3 can multiple for both okay i, I say when you see bracket mean the power have to multiple okay here is a class classic one Okay, when you see 1 over, this one we know will be negative. Okay, and you see square root will mean power 1 over 2. Okay, I do step by step. So this one will equal to 1 over 4x, 4x power x plus 2. And then the whole thing power of 1 over 2. Because square root in the power is called 1 over 2. Okay, 2 mean root what? 1 means power so square root remember you can change to power of 1 over 2 later the 1 over 2 I can multiply for x and 2 because both of them are power okay okay at the same time the 1 over 2 you have to multiply with the number 4 also okay means this one is 2 power of 2 multiply 1 over 2 means actually you will get you will get 2 also lah. okay so therefore okay I multiply this one in, I get 2 power of 6x. Okay, 3 multiple negative 3, negative 9 will equal to, okay, this one I change to 2 power of 2 power of 2. Okay, so here will equal to 2 power of 2x plus 4. Because this one, if changed to 2 power of 2, you have to multiply for both. Means the power of 2 have to multiply x and 2. So we get 2x plus 4. And holding power with negative 1 over 2. You see the negative here? Because of the 1 over. Okay? Then we can straight away multiply the negative into it. Okay? Then we will get 2, 6x minus 9. This one still the same. Okay. This one when multiply. 2x multiple negative 1 over 2 will give us negative x because 2 and 2 is simplified already and negative 1 multiple x is negative x 4 multiple negative 1 over 2 after simplified we will get minus 2 okay this is what I say just now when the bit you have the same base then only you can solve the solve their power so now the both both of this equation both in this equation the base is 2 so now, 
we can ignore the base we straight away go to the power mean actually 6x minus 9 will give you negative x minus 2 okay this is the power so we just solve this equation we can get the value for x so negative x both here we will get positive x so 6x plus x we will get and then negative 9 move there we will get positive 9 so minus negative 2 plus 9 so we will get 7x will equal to negative 2 plus 9 we will get 7 so x is equal to okay this one is 7 multiple x so move there is called 7 divide by 7 so this one will move to bottom divide 7 so x after simplified x will equal to 1 okay I think in this question only one part very difficult is the 1 over because most of the student they cannot change 1 over to negative 1 over just mean negative and then you have to know that the square root actually means power of 1 over 2 okay okay after this difficult question we let's have a look some simple questions okay okay the exam maybe as you solve the equation okay so you have to very sensitive with the 16 and 8 okay 16 and 8 all of this number i know is the 2 power of something i can get 16 16 and 2 power of something i can get 8 obviously 16 where you use 2 power of 4 8 is 2 power of 3 okay so straight away i change their base become the same because only when the base become the same i can solve their power okay so here i change to 2 power of 4 okay and then i put a bracket and then outside i continue right 2x minus 3 and 8 is 2 power of 3 put the bracket 4x because the bracket later i have to multiple okay now i'm a multiple okay so this one will equal to 2 power of 4 multiple 2x we get 8x 4 multiple negative 3 we get negative 12 okay and then 2 and uh, 2 power of 3 and 3 have to multiply 4x we will get 2 power of 12x okay now they have the same base already both is 2 already so we ignore the base we solve the solve their power so therefore x, x minus 12 will give us 12x okay therefore okay i move the 12x to this side positive 12x move here will become minus 12x and negative 12 move there will become positive 12 okay then x minus 12x will get negative 4x will equal to 12 okay and then x will equal to the negative 4 multiple x so move here negative 4 here is multiple move to this side will become divide so equal to 12 divide by negative 4 okay here you have to very be careful because some of the students when negative 4 move to this side they will think negative 4 will become positive 4 no because this is negative 4 multiple x so move to this side will become divide negative 4 the negative is still here okay so therefore 12 divided by negative 4 you will get x will equal to negative 3 okay this one consider very simple okay then we come and have a look some harder questions okay for this one first before we do the base is 2 the base is 2 but then this one base is 1 means actually this one base is 1 sometimes it's very hard for us to solve okay so how to solve this question is you have to change to this one become 2 power of 0 because everything power of 0 will get you 1 so the first step actually i i change and before i change i also have to know actually 2x plus 4 i can i can change to 2x 2 power of x multiple 2 power of 4 because multiple will mean plus in the power okay so i just do a step okay 2 power of x multiple 2 power of 4 okay still remember when this one is x multiple 4 will become x plus 4 
So actually this one we can change to like this minus 2x plus 3 will equal to multiple 2 power of 3 okay and then will equal to okay we write one one here another matter okay and then okay your some student will feel very difficult when you see 2x multiple this one how how we going to solve this one so i make it simple i let i let 2 power of x equal to m okay because like this will be easy for some student to digest okay so here will become m so m multiple 2 power of 4 2 power of 4 is called 16 multiple 16 minus okay 2 power of x will become m m multiple 2 power of 3 will get 8 will give us 1 so this one actually is called 16 m okay so 16 m minus 8 m will give us 1 therefore 16 m minus 8 m will left at 8 m here will equal to 1 so actually m will equal to 1 over 8 here 8 multiple m so move there will become divide 8 okay so okay after we get this one we, we change back m equal to 2 power of 8 2 power of, of x okay so 1 over 8 here 1 over 8 here actually we can change to 1 over 2 power of 3 still remember okay 8 you can change to 2 power of 3 so when you see 1 over 2 power of 3 will equal to 2 power of negative 3 when you see 1 over always mean negative so therefore you will get negative 3 okay like this you will get both also is the base 2 here so we can ignore the base so x will equal to negative 3 okay hope you can learn something in this video this is indice for additional mathematics thank you